All right, guys, welcome into today's video. Yes, that was a very clickbait thumbnail title, but you know, it is true in a sense. I have sold some meta materials. Yes, I know. I never thought I'd hear me say that, but uh, yes. Uh, but let's clarify the, that up real quick. I sold some MMAT options. Uh, so yes, uh, I had, you guys know, I had some long call options out for January of 2024. But I have an update for you. Now they have long call options expiring January 2025. So yes, that is my plan. Uh, I sold most, pretty much all of my January 2024 options and I'm gonna take that money and buy January 2025 options. So yes, kind of a trade off in a sense. So. Uh, I don't know how much longer this crazy bear market is going to go, but I want to give myself enough time in these options uh, to let the market play its way out and see what happens. In today's video, I'm going to go over uh, the numbers and stuff of the cost and things like that, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. All right, so first, let's take a look at some price action and the uh, futures, and we'll get into that. Uh, so many materials today in the regular trading hours was down almost 5%, down 4.82%. Uh, ended at 79 cents, and here after hours, we got back 1.27% to end at 80 cents even. Uh, average volume is 6.1 million, and we traded a little over 2 million, so very low on the volume today. I remember in the video last night, the futures was like ripping green. That was definitely like a false uh, trap because the market was very red today overall. Uh, but currently, the S&P futures is up 3 points, the Dow futures is up 12 points, NASDAQ futures up 13 points. The Russell is up three points. MMTLP getting hammered again. And I'm thinking about just buying some more of this actually. Um, down $1.49, down 3.25%. Taking a look here at it. Average volume is 320,000. We trade 174,000. And it should be like, you know, here very soon, guys. It just, hopefully, sometime this week, we get a news on the S1A. And then we can go from that. All right. So first, let's take a look at what I had. So you're going to see here on this. Let me adjust this. All right. So if you've seen videos that I've talked about MMAT options, uh, here you can see buy MMAT call, buy call. And you see here highlighted January 19, 2024. That was the options that I talked about in previous videos that I was buying. And I was buying the 50 cents call. Now you can see, you can still buy this option. Uh, you can still buy it. Uh, so what this means is your break even on this is gonna be 96 cents guys. And you can see, you need this stock to gain 20% to break even and you have until January 19th, 2024. So you have about uh, a year and three months, a year and four months, a little shy of a year and a half on that. But we don't know how the rest of this year is gonna go and how next year is gonna go. Uh, so I was able to sell these options. Actually, I sold them a couple days ago because I was waiting on the price of the other options we're going to talk about to come down a little bit, and they did. Uh, so I'm kind of happy that the market kind of took them down, uh, the price down. So uh, I did sell these options. You can see I only have one contract left uh, of the January 19, 2024. Uh, taking a look here at what that will get you. And I just took these screenshots right before I did the video. So the delta at 84 cents, what that means is Every time the stock goes up $1, you're going to earn $84 in premium. That's about an average of what it does. Uh, you can see here the implied, uh, implied volatility is at 101%, and open interest is at 1,274 here on Robinhood. Like I said, I use Robinhood uh, for my options trading because it's a very easy platform to do this. Uh, like I said, uh, pretty not bad. I mean, do you think Meta Material is going to be above 96 cents um, at January 19, 2024? Do you think the market's going to recover? Uh, you know, you can buy that and keep an eye on it. If we get any kind of rally, you could either exercise those options or you could sell the options and take profit. Um, now, I think I said I sold those. Let's look at what I'm looking to buy here probably later this week, actually, maybe even tomorrow. Uh, so here it is. MMAT call, buy call. January 17th, 2025 is out. That's right. Guys, look at this here. 50 cent call at $66. That's right. So for $66, um, I'm giving myself to 
the option to buy 100 shares of MMAT at 50 cents. My total break even on this will be $1.11. So come January 17th, 2025, I need meta materials to be above $1.11 to break even. That's 38.75% gain from where we're at right now to break even on that contract. Uh, taking a look here at the Greeks, the Delta is at 90 cents, which means for every dollar MMAT would go up, I'm going to earn $90 in premium. Look at the theta here. Very, very low. Like you're barely losing no money per day on your contract uh, because it's so far out. Right? It's so far out. Look at the implied volatility. 133.5%. Open interest is only 12. Only 12 people have this on Robinhood right now. So not many people have it. Uh, I'm going to be added to that number because I will be adding uh, these options to my portfolio because, yeah, uh, of course, I did take a little bit of a loss on those uh, ones here because, yeah, if you're buying options, stock's just been going down. So we took a little loss on these options, but we didn't lose too much, actually. And for $55 compared to $66, it's $11 more, guys. Think about that. For $11 more, you're getting a whole year to let the stock play out, to let the market do what it needs to do to get back into a regular market. Because right now we're in a bear market, we're in a crash market, we're in any kind of bad market you can think of. So I think it's worth, just my personal opinion, I think it's worth $11 to pay to get the January 17, 2025, uh, to get another whole year to let the market play out. So that's what I did. Yes, I sold those options. I, I'm going to be buying new options with those money and probably adding some more money to my account to buy more of these options. So hope that explains what I did. I basically sold options that are uh, going to expire here in January 24 to get January 25 options. All right. If that didn't make sense, I'll have to come back out and do it again. But hopefully that made sense. All right, so let's take a look here at the crude oil. WTI crude is at $84.45. Brent crude at $90.31. And natural gas at $7.80. Let's go take a look here at the Fintel. Days to cover at 6.82 days. 9.3% uh, short interest to float. Take a look down here at short shares that is available is 400,000. Earlier today, we was down at 2,000 shares. So trust me. We were down to 2,000, they returned back up to 400,000 shares. So definitely some shady stuff there going on. Uh, short bar fee keeps going up. I love seeing that. I wanna see that fee keep going up. And yesterday we did a video, I think we was at 11.53 and now we're at 12.49. So almost up another whole percent. Hey, I'll take a percent a day and make them people wanna borrow our stock, short it, lend it. They're gonna pay to do that. I uh, think look here at the Fender short volume ratio is a 42.47. So actually kind of low day on the short volume. Like I said, we're used to 50s and 60s. We see something in the 40s, let alone low 40s. It's like, wow, uh, pretty nice. Uh, aggregate short volume ratio is at a 44.97. So we'll just call it 45. So I believe that is all I got for you guys in today's video. Uh, just wanted to come out here and just kind of share what i'm doing i'm still holding all my mmat stock i haven't sold any of my stock uh don't worry about that guys we didn't sell any stock this was just options you know options can you know let's go actually take a quick look on the theta decay yeah it's still pretty low on the january 24 actually it's the same as a 25 so even if you would buy the january of 24 uh you're really not losing any money due to theta decay per day uh, but just keep an eye on that because, you know, it's $55 now. Uh, actually, when I first started tracking these uh, calls, I believe this contract was like $80 or $85. And now it's down to $66. So for $66, I think that's a heck of a deal. Do I think Meta Materials is going to be above a $1.11 come January 17, 2025? Hell yeah, I believe that. And, I, you know, not only that, but like I said, I'm going to get more more premium if the stock does get a run up uh, compared to this one here. That's $84. This is at 90 bucks, so about a $5 difference, but I get a whole year to see what happens. So hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Hopefully this week we get the S1A done. So catch you on next video, guys. Peace.